Another interesting effect that it's uh, nice for rendering and make the real closes is puckering for making wrinkles in swimming area. It's exactly like a top stitch. You can use it here. We have a segment puckering. For example, I want to add a puckering in here. You can refer to the top stitch. We have a segment, as you can see, you can <clears throat> top stitch segment. As you can see, you can select this top stitch as added here. As you can see, effect little bumpy effect here and select it and add a top stitch and then go to segment to the segment top stitch ctrl z we can delete it in, in with a edit top stitch puckering you have you can select free it means you can freely click and drag to add a puckering here and the both side as you can see this spot side is swimming to the that side and as you can see the puckering like the other <coughs> uh, things in a color 3d it has its own uh settings here we have its settings you can uh if you you can add a puckering to the internal line it start and end you can uh, for uh, uh um using these settings please please refer to uh top stitch settings i don't want to uh, repeat them here but if you want to select it, all of the settings look like the top, sti <clears throat> top stitch. But the here you can change the material. It does not mean you change the material. It's change the physical properties of the wrinkles. If you, you, the wrinkle is a in a cotton is different with the linker of the letter. As you can see, you can change the shape of the uh, puckering if you want it. Here, with the puckering, we don't have need any texture. Uh, we have to use a normal map. It is not a real 3D. It's in a, you can see in a camera. It does not affect polygon of your object. It's no need to color, just puckering. You have to pucker the exact color of the. Here, you can change the opacity of the puckering here. And here, the density is more important. If you want to bigger puckering, uh, bring the number up. As you can see, we have a bigger. If you want to more dense and little puckering, you can small puckering to cotton. As you can see, you can change the density here. If you want to puckering, if you want, you want to puckering, um, have a more width here. You can change the width. As you can see, you can uh, click like this. Uh, I want more bigger puckering, so bigger number here. I assign a bigger number here, and here you can change the puckering. And if you click in here, we have just one cotton texture here that if you change it, it changes a normal map and going to the other folder. You can add another puckering here, and that's it. Uh, you can go to the edit, just click and drag and just select the puckering and delete them. Um, if you want to, at the one time, uh, go uh, assign the puckering to both sides that are swing to each other. As I said before, you can use seam line puckering. As you can see, it's automatically defined the cross section and swing in both sides so i prefer this because it's automatically give it to the both side and then you can go and uh, edit it okay it is puckering it's very easy and nice hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.